Elon Musk has always loved Twitter, and after years of coupley bickering, the two finally seem to be together. The SpaceX and Tesla boss, who enjoys a whopping following of 84.9 million on the platform, is known for his prolific and mostly controversial tweets. On April 25th, the board of Twitter agreed to a $44 billion takeover offer from Elon Musk. But how did we get here? Let's take a look. Elon Musk had joked about buying Twitter as early as 2017, but things got serious in 2022. The world's richest man reportedly started buying Twitter stock in January and, according to reports by AP, had consolidated a 5% stake in the company by March 14th. By April 4th, Musk had taken a 9.2% stake in Twitter, worth around $2.9 billion, making him the single largest shareholder. Twitter CEO Parag Agarwal then announced that Musk would be appointed to the company's board, an invite which Musk rejected. Instead, on April 14th, Elon Musk offered to buy Twitter outright in an all-cash deal worth $43.4 billion. Twitter was, however, less effusive in its praise for Musk. Twitter went on the defensive, deploying a poison pill strategy, which would flood the market with newly created stock and make the takeover prohibitively expensive, even for the world's richest man. On April 24th, Twitter's board held discussions with Musk, wherein they seriously considered his offer. The discussions continued well into the next day, and the $44 billion deal was sealed on April 25th. Once Elon Musk takes over as the owner of Twitter, things are set to change. Twitter, which is currently a publicly listed company, will turn private, and stockholders will receive $54.20 in cash for each share of Twitter common stock that they own. Musk has, in the past, criticized Twitter for lacking certain features, which he may now work to add. Among these has been the Edit Tweet button, which Twitter users have long clamored for, he has also called for the company's algorithm, which controls what content people see, to be made transparent and open source. He has also promised to defeat spam bots, authenticate all real human users, and combat cryptocurrency scams. Elon Musk has regularly criticized Twitter for its alleged lack of adherence to free speech principles. In a statement announcing the deal, he refers to the platform as the digital town square where matters vital to the future of humanity are debated. He has tweeted saying that he wants even his worst critics to remain on Twitter. It's not clear who will lead the social media giant moving forward, but it looks like the end of the road for CEO Parag Agarwal, who took over from co-founder and former boss Jack Dorsey last November. According to a report by research firm Equala, Parag Agarwal will get paid $42 million if he sacked the CEO within 12 months of being appointed. Jack Dorsey has expressed cautious enthusiasm over the takeover, saying that he trusts Elon Musk to extend the light of consciousness. But opinion is clearly divided, and fellow space enthusiast and Amazon founder Jeff Bezos could not let the opportunity slide. He chimed in, flagging a post by a New York Times reporter who pointed to connections between Tesla and the Chinese government. Many are not enthusiastic about Twitter's content moderation policy being under Elon Musk's control, who calls himself a free speech absolutist. Human rights organization Amnesty International has expressed concern with any steps that Twitter might take to erode enforcement of the policies and mechanisms designed to protect users. Some users have already threatened to quit the platform, among them British actor Jamila Jamil, who says she fears the new focus on free speech would help Twitter reach its final form of totally lawless hate, bigotry and misogyny. However, Republicans in the United States are already calling for former President Donald Trump to be reinstated on the platform. Elon Musk has, in the past, said that he would prefer timeouts over permanent bans as punitive measures for those who violate Twitter's policies. Trump, on his part, has said that he will not return to Twitter. Twitter users, on the other hand, have wasted no time in mining the situation for meme gold. Some suggested that Musk could have just downloaded Twitter for free off of the App Store instead of buying it for $44 billion, while others posted about Elon finally setting the caged bird free. Many have pointed out Elon Musk's freewheeling approach to posting on his own Twitter profile, where he has been known to post irreverent memes, the latest comparing Bill Gates to the pregnancy emoji. Whatever one may feel about Elon Musk's takeover of Twitter, one thing is for certain. Winds of change are afoot for one of the world's largest social media networks.